the AI race is heating up. The US, China and India, all with massive talent pools, thanks to their booming populations and economies, are vying for the lead. So what drives their AI ambitions? And who will emerge as the front runner? Each nation brings a unique perspective, shaped by its own goals and challenges. Their economic needs are distinct, and the laws and regulations vary greatly. In this video, we'll explore whether the development of AI will lead to the emergence of three distinct national AI strategies. The United States has become the undisputed leader in the exciting world of artificial intelligence. Thanks to the power of its private sector, tech giants like Google and NVIDIA, along with startups like OpenAI, aren't just pouring money into AI research. They're using this technology to revolutionize healthcare, finance, and everything in between. It would be fair to say that this has, in part, been possible due to the US government's historic support of the tech sector through collaborations and funding Agencies like DARPA and NSF, along with military bodies, have long backed AI for things like autonomous weapons. These efforts indirectly boost civilian ventures, creating a booming tech industry. US policy strongly focuses on staying ahead in AI, encouraging innovation while tackling ethical issues like privacy and bias at a slower speed. This is different from the EU, where regulations have notoriously slowed down development. And the US has a not-so-secret weapon, talent acquisition. By keeping entry barriers for high-skill immigration very low, the US attracts the best and brightest minds from around the world. This constant flow of skilled workers makes the US even stronger in the AI race. The mix of a strong private sector, supportive government policies, and a global talent pool is helping the US stay ahead in the AI game. Prepare to see an economic boom similar to the one sparked by the internet revolution. Clearly, the narrative around AI in the United States is all about maintaining their industry leadership globally. However, the global AI landscape is constantly evolving, and other countries are making significant strides. Of course, it's not all sunshine and rainbows for the US. The race for AI dominance is heating up, with China as a major competitor. The US restrictions on chip technology have spurred China to include self-sufficiency in semiconductors as a key goal in its recent five-year plan. Underestimating China would be a grave mistake. As a quick reminder, the US blocking China's entry into the European Space Agency in 2010 forced China to successfully forge its own path in space exploration. Undeterred, China poured resources into its space program, achieving remarkable feats within a decade like building its own space station and landing rovers on the moon and Mars. Facing this intense competition, China has taken a distinct approach to AI development. Heavily influenced by its government, the Chinese government views AI as a crucial element of its plan to achieve global leadership in technology. As part of its Made in China 2025 plan, the government has committed significant resources towards AI research and development, with the aim of becoming the world leader in AI by 2030. A darker side to China's AI development is its use in public surveillance, which has raised international concerns about privacy and human rights. The Chinese government uses AI to monitor its population through a vast network of surveillance cameras. These efforts are justified by the government as necessary for maintaining social stability and security. However, reducing China's tech efforts to simply a system of mass surveillance misses the bigger picture. Chinese companies, with their heavy investment in technology and data analysis, are global leaders in UX design, e-commerce, and logistics. Chinese social media apps are years ahead of the curve, and online stores like Shine and Temu are outshining established platforms. This success is partly due to the high-tech affinity of the Chinese population, who are largely comfortable navigating a fully digital world. Chinese companies and the state have their eyes firmly set on being the world's foremost tech and economic power. But this is not a story of a duopoly. China's next door neighbor has awakened from its slumber. India's approach to AI stands out compared to the US and China. Here, AI is about social and economic upliftment 
not just dominance. For the past decade or more, unprecedented large-scale projects have been underway through the Digital India Initiative. A prime example is the Aadhaar Biometric ID system, which provides a secure 12-digit identification number to 1.2 billion Indians. Is sovereign AI the next big thing? It could be, and India must try to take the lead in this game. Just think about the impact that UPI has had. UPI stands for Unified Payments Interface. It is the backbone of India's digital infrastructure. This system grants seamless and transparent access to e-government services for over a billion people. To imagine the implementation challenge, consider issuing these IDs to the entire populations of Europe and North America combined. Half of India's population, a staggering 500 million people, works in agriculture. Many in this sector lack digital literacy, hindering their full participation in the Aadhaar system and government schemes. AI can bridge this gap. The India AI mission, launched in 2020, has a core mandate, implementing AI in agriculture, healthcare, and education to build a digitally empowered society and knowledge economy. AI solutions are slowly revolutionizing education in remote areas, improving healthcare for underserved communities and optimizing agricultural practices for small farmers. This grassroots AI approach may be a unique opportunity for India to uplift a significant portion of its underprivileged population. But the impact goes beyond agriculture and e-governance. AI is being embraced across all sectors. India tops the global list for AI adoption in large corporations, with a staggering 59% of companies having already adopted AI. A very strong startup scene is also fueling innovation from farming harvesters to space technology. While India's current investment might seem modest compared to the US and China, it's growing rapidly and attracting global interest. But India has a distinct advantage. Its existing IT talent pool positions it well to capitalize on the AI revolution. With a large young population eager to learn new skills, Indian tech companies can quickly train new job market entrants. In fact, India boasts the highest relative AI skill penetration globally with a workforce 3.23 times more likely to possess AI skills compared to the global average. India's focus on AI for social and economic convergence might just be the trigger for its exponential growth. The US and China dominate in investment and cutting edge AI research. Driven by established tech giants, and a commercial focus. In contrast, India shines with its widespread AI adoption in businesses and a commitment to social impact. Yet lower investment and gaps in specialized talent currently limit its ability to compete fully with the US and China. But can India's rapid growth close this gap in the next decade? As AI evolves, the differing goals of these nations will shape the future of AI development and sharing. The future of AI leadership is uncertain but full of exciting possibilities for the betterment of humanity. What do you think? We would love to hear your comments. If you liked our analysis, please like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next one.